Rob, news today coming out that uh, you're doing a home and home with uh, North Dakota State. I guess, uh, you know, why, why do this? I mean, obviously they have been a dominant program for the last decade. Sure. It's the next step in our progression. Playing a nationally ranked continuous powerhouse like North Dakota State and bringing them here to play, doing a home and home. That's what all the big boys do. That's what you do. You go try and play the best. And if you want to be the best, you go play the best. And uh, we've always said that the national championship right now runs through the Fargo Dome. Nice to get a chance to have them at our place and see what it really is about before we get started. Yeah, how, how electric, I know it's 2021 when they come here, but how electric do you think this place is going to be? You know, er, mid-September, uh, weather will be nice. Um, you know, it, it's probably the second home game of the year. It's, could, this place could be rocking. Oh, I would think, I would have to think. If you bring the perennial, continuous, year after year, number one team in FCS football to your house, I surely expect it to be packed. And that uh, they may have a great fan base, but Maryland's a long way from North Dakota. I got to think we'd outnumber them at home this time. So uh, I'm excited. I think the guys are excited when they hear about this. And uh, this is going to be one of the greatest challenges in the history of our program. Anything else with that? I can get one. Uh, Coach, sure. la last time you had a top 10 opponent non-conference was Fordham during the FCS playoffs. What was that atmosphere like <laughs> when you have a top 10 opponent and you're getting to battle one of the best teams in FCS here on your home field? Whenever you play one of the best teams in the country, it's your home place. It's a great day. It's a chance for your fan base, your community, your team, not just the football team, but the university team that surrounds this place to represent itself against the best in the country. It's not just football versus football. It's town versus town, school versus school. And uh, I can't see it anything other than one of the most amazing experiences in the history, our short history of college football here.